So we're down here at Wimbledon and I've managed to catch up with Shane Warne. Shane, great to see you. I normally see you on the golf course, <laughs> but you love all sports and you're a big tennis fan. Yeah, I love my tennis. Always, you know, nothing better than Wimbledon too, so it's fantastic to be here. Um, and, you know, with the Aussie sensation, Nick Kyrgios doing so well, it's, um, you know, he's got a big match coming up. Looking forward to that. And um, nice to be here. Nice to see the sun shining too. <laughs> I know, it doesn't often shine here. but it, no, It's great, yeah, just in case. <laughs> and I hope, hopefully you've got your sunscreen as yes. well. Did you watch Nick's game against Rafi yesterday? Did you see any of it? And what, what do you make of his performance so far? Yeah, I watched the whole thing yesterday. It was pretty awesome, actually. He's um, obviously got a monster serve. Um, you know, in Nadal, he's such a fight. He's probably, the, you know, out of all the sports, a lot of my friends and I, we talk about it probably being the biggest competitor we've ever watched. He's such a competitive beast, Nadal. But... Um, for the young Aussie to come out there, Nick, and play the way he did against that with no fear and just go for it and uh, have the confidence to come out there and knock it overall with the situation against, you know, arguably one of the world's greatest ever players was um, absolutely outstanding. So there's a bit of Nick fever going on at the moment and we're loving it. There certainly is. I mean, he was the underdog yesterday and, mm. and came out in a fabulous performance. And, you know, today he's on Centre Court, which you're about to watch. We've seen so many Australian fans around Wimbledon and they are fanatics. Why is it that Australians are so passionate about sports? Well, I don't know. We just are. We just love all sports. Like, you know, as you know, Diana, with the golf, we all love our golf and um, the tennis, especially here at Wimbledon. And I think all the Australian sports, when, you know, when we play cricket, we're always very well supported. The Aussies would do the hard yards and the long travel and um, come and support whoever they, whatever the sport was playing. And um, it's nice to see Nick getting a lot of support from, from here. But also back home, everyone's, you know, supporting him and riding, staying up with the matchsticks under their eyes and all that sort of stuff and watching. So, um, you know, hopefully he does really well today. And uh, I'm sure he's going to do pretty cool. He'll be cool. Because over the last few years, Shane, Australian sport has really been in the doldrums, would yeah. you say? So, mm. you know, it's great that you can all get excited about a new prospect, a new, yeah. a new world uh, tennis champion. Yeah, well, I've, you know, I think with the young kids these days, that um, they need superstars. They, and we want characters. And I think that's why he's really refreshing, Nick, too. He's pretty honest and straight up. He says, yeah, you know, my first serve's on fire. I'm killing it, you know. So good for him to be like that. And um, you know, I, I think for all those young kids to have someone to look up for, it inspires other people to play tennis and not just Australia but everyone here to see this young 19 year old kid mixing with the big boys out and um, the big courts and um, he's doing an awesome job too so I think it's great to have those sort of heroes and characters that um, the young kids can look up to. And what did you make of his uh, post-match interview because he's a pretty refreshing guy isn't he? <laughs> yeah that's what I'm saying you know he was no he wasn't holding back about how good he was doing which, which we like it's better that than being you know quiet and shy and all that so it's nice to see that Aussie charm coming out in him but um, yeah no it's really good and I wish him all the best and I'm sure all of Australia wish him the best and um, we'll be clapping loudly out there yeah, try and catch a couple in the crowd and be away <laughs> just finally how did you prepare for uh, when you had big games you know the tennis players will be in the locker room uh, thinking about their match ahead well, how did you prepare yeah I think uh, sometimes when you have too long in between big games you can outthink too much and you know you all need a plan you need some sort of plan and I'm sure Nick's got great strategy and people around him that are talking about the best way to take his opponent down but I always found if you can get on the and just go straight away, you keep in that zone, you keep on the roll, and momentum is so big in sport, and I think he's got momentum at the moment. When someone's got that, you've got to sort of do something really quickly early to upset him. So I'm interested to see what his opponent does and what he's going to come up with, what sort of tactic. He's got a big serve too. But, um, you know, I, I, I just think he's on a roll. He's got too much momentum. He's going to be hard to stop. Shane, I hope yeah, you're going to make Becker, a lot of noise. Another, another Boris Becker story. Here yeah, we come. It could be. Have a fantastic day and enjoy yeah. it on Centre Court. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Shane. Back to you.